Known across the world for his beautiful and feminine creations, as well as menswear, accessories and fragrances, Emmanuel Ungaro knows how to make anyone look good. Born and raised in France, but with an Italian heritage, Emmanuel Ungaro learned a thing or two about fashion from a young age. He was taught to sew by his father and was designing by his mid-twenties at the Spanish house of Cristobal Balenciaga. By the mid-sixties, Ungaro had launched his own boutique and label in the fashion capital of the world, Paris. He had created his first women's ready-to-wear line by the late 60s, which was then followed by his first menswear collection in the early 70s and a number of fragrances. Having experimented with different fabrics and prints, people would swarm to his boutiques as his precision cut and body skimming outfits would flatter almost any figure. He is a master at what he does and knows how to make a woman sexy and seductive. Ungaro over the years has walked to the catwalk richly embroidered sheer lace gowns and reams of purple, black and white taffeta billowing out from skirts, but also daywear that is suggesting a careless attitude to luxury, which is sure to appeal to young American socialites that have attended his shows. He resurrected the bohemian chic of the 1970s with outfits that piled on clashing patterns and ornate embroidery to dizzying effect, and has given gimmicky touches to his signature clash of printed chiffons, embroidered lace and floral patterns. His shows have also featured glamorous bridal collections with models wearing white pleated bustier dresses worn with a long Chinese style cape in satin with flowers and parrots. Never losing focus, Ungaro has had continuous success since the beginning of his brilliant career. But in 2001, Ungaro retired from ready to wear to concentrate on haute couture. In 2005, Vincent Dare came aboard, injecting new life into the Emmanuel Ungaro ready to wear collection, respecting the brand while also expressing his own point of view. With form fitting dresses, Dare also incorporated corsets into dresses, featuring off the shoulder flounces and tiered ruffles down the skirt. Norwegian designer Peter Dundas was given the role of artistic director in December 2005. Having previously worked in the design teams for Christian Lacroix and Jean-Paul Gaultier, Dundas debuted with Ungaro in Paris for the 2006 ready-to-wear season. His 2007 collection was inspired by the nightclubbing nightlife, with a color palette of black mixed with neons, reds, electric blue and ultraviolet, also with a sprinkling of metallics with gold and silver sequins, and fabrics ranging from taffeta, silk, velvet and leather. Esteban Cortazar is the fourth designer to be appointed as the head designer of the Emmanuel Ungaro ready-to-wear line since the founder's retirement. Only in his early 20s, he introduced a welcome dash of optimism into the Paris ready-to-wear collection in 2008. The young designer sent out flirty summer dresses in tropical hothouse prints, with the outfits having been influenced by his native city of Cartagena. Taking creative control of Ungaro's two men's labels, Emmanuel Ungaro and Ungaro, is French designer José Levy, who brought with him a decade of experience. For his first collection with the label, he offered a playful collection, sending out formal wear with a twist and beach gear for a tropical vacation. With Ungaro's beautiful haute couture gowns, he's become a favorite with Hollywood celebrities such as Eva Longoria and Cameron Diaz. Longoria graced the red carpet in a navy blue dress, while Diaz arrived to the Oscars in a satin rose-colored gown, complete with roses and a pleated skirt. Emmanuel Ungaro is a master when it comes to designing what people want. He not only makes people look fabulous in his designs, he also knows how to make them feel fabulous in his designs.